it's it's a lot different when you know who you're talking to. Knowing that I am a child of God, I'm a beloved daughter of God, uh, has me gives me a whole different relationship with with Heavenly Father, with a God. Enos 1, 4. And my soul hungered, and I kneeled down before my Maker, and I cried unto him in mighty prayer and supplication for mine own soul. And all the day long did I cry unto him. I'd say the greatest answer that God has given me where all the stress of the world, of school and obligations, and church and just everything just kind of crashed down. And, and it was a really hard moment. It just, I was so overwhelmed. And I just went to my room and I just, I don't even know why I did it, but I went on my knees on my bed and started crying out for help. I said, God, where have you been? Where, where are you? Why? Am I going through this without you? And all of a sudden I felt overwhelmed in a whole different way. An overwhelming love that God had for me. And that moment I knew that he had never left me, that I was the one that was too stressed out about things that I didn't even think to turn to him for help earlier or think about how he's actually been there the whole time and I've been the one shutting him out and I knew from that moment on with a firm testimony that God is our father and he's very very loving more than we could ever imagine and so my testimony is that as we turn to God no matter how we feel he's going to be there to support us he is our strength and a support in anything and everything. So prayer is the most fundamental thing that there is.